All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Myriko Chan. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I'll obviously find out when the show starts. Episode one. Uh, I have no idea. I, I've never seen this series at all. Uh, not read the manga, or light novel, or anything like that. I assume it's a manga. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it is. Obviously, uh, it wasn't on my initial plan to watch for this season. However, I was interested in watching it anyway. Um, but I thought, screw it, I may as well just watch it for episode one, see how it is and react to it, uh, and it might be good. Hopefully it's good, uh, and uh, yeah, that kind of comedy horror genre anime. So let's see how this goes. Uh, but yeah, as always guys, I like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. I'm wondering if this anime is actually going to be scary at all, even though it is like, I know it's a horror, but it's also comedy, so... Bro, <laughs> I can't tell if this is actually gonna scare me or not. What the microwave doing? What the fuck? What? Uh, what is this? Oh, right. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ! This shit. Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen as well. God damn. Yeah. There's a. Well, did the, the fridge just open? <laughs> this is a very upbeat opening. <laughs> Love to see it. You can kind of see the comedy side of this anime now. So, like, I've seen the I've seen the promo art for this anime, and I've seen like what the ghouls or ghosts or stuff look like. But other than that, it seems like more comedy based. This anime, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that this this paint is potentially supposed to be like blood. I assume there was, like, a ghost there or something. That is not how you get fingerprints off a mirror, by using your hands more. What the fuck? <laughs> or just take an umbrella with you, what the fuck? <laughs> I really can't believe I was going into school. Like, 7, 8am, doing maths that time in the morning. What the fuck? What the fuck was my problem? <laughs> the squish. <laughs> <laughs> this is such an interesting friendship duo. Like dark and gloomy. Light and fluffy. <laughs> it was this tiny individual with the strawberry banana hair. Yes. What do you want? <laughs> Hello? Okay. <laughs> Great. Good talk. Yep. I wonder how long it's going to be before we actually see something. It's starting out pretty normal so far. Like, nothing over ec 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 ecstatic or so I don't know. When's the twist? Oh, creepy. Creepy aura. Creepy sensing. Huh? <laughs> hmm. I wonder... This girl is an eater, apparently. Oh god, not toilet cubicles. Oh no. Spooky. What the hell was that noise? Did someone just die in there or something? Is that a normal conversation? <laughs> hey, you want to go shop for underwear? It's probably a normal conversation. I don't know. Just anime things. I can never trust walking across a road in an anime because I feel like they're just going to get hit by a truck. I feel like that's some kind of PTSD. Oh god. Schools at night are terrifying. I don't know why. They're just terrifying. What is that? Is that a fire? No. Alright. I don't want to know what that was. Don't do this. Don't keep switching it on and off. Please. How the hell did it get under there? Uh oh. Oh god. Oh fuck me. <laughs> this, <laughs> if this scares me, I'm going to be pissed off. I'm so bad with horror. Oh look. <laughs> Should have brought an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. What are the? What is with these semi-revealing shots that it keeps doing? <laughs> Why is she sending the same picture? What? 
Bro, something possessed her phone. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so where does the comedy come in? <laughs> what, there's no pictures there, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that was like the laid, like, shit myself then. <laughs> does she not care? Is she... It, it, is she okay? Oh, is she doing that thing where it said on the TV show to pretend like you don't see it? She's keeping her cool about this. I would fucking shit him. I would probably die on the spot. Okay, so I guess this is her first time seeing something like that then. A real bad one. Oh, so is this not her first time seeing... These things. She just pretends like she doesn't see them. Oh my fucking god. Oh Jesus Christ. These are like proper out of actual horror. Oh, this is the one that keeps leaving marks on the mirror, I guess. <laughs> is this entire anime just going to be her pretending she can't see them? Like, what would happen if she said she could? Will it now? Will it now? I mean, it definitely looks like an evil spirit. So I don't, maybe should just keep doing this. I don't know. What are with these goddamn sh uh, shots, anime? Jesus Christ, get it, get it together. Kangle, gangle. Oh boy. Oh fucking hell. Oh fuck that! Fuck that entirely. Bru a baby, bruh, nah. I would be fucking scream. No, there's no way you can sleep with that. <laughs> oh no, bro, she's going through it. The hand isn't there anymore. I thought this girl's gonna die of stress. Oh, she was actually scared by it this time. Oh my god. Yep, I didn't- I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Bro, these are straight out of, like, Junji Ito-esque horror. Oh my god. How do you look past this thing and continue to speak to someone when you can't see them? And pretend like you can't see it. Oh my god. Absolute poker face. Oh my god. Alright, so that was episode one of Mirako chan or Mirako chan um, that, was, that was actually really good. I, I'm actually glad I um, was reacting to that when watching it uh, for the first time. Um, yeah, definitely seems like something I'm going to continue watching and continue re reacting for the time being. Uh, obviously, if it keeps up kind of the same pace of um, genuine, genuine entertainment, then uh, yeah, I will definitely be reacting to this fully this season. Um, obviously, it's uh, I was kind of waiting for a while as to consider, see what kind of the comedic aspects of the show was. And then towards the end, you kind of realize that the comedic, comedic aspects are the fucking stress that this girl has to go through. Um, it was really surprising, like, all throughout, I was like, is this going to scare me? It's horror, but is it going to scare me? I don't know. Like, I'm a jumpy person anyway. Uh, but it wasn't entirely too scary. It was just uh, the suspense was kind of gaining on me. Then when she turned around at the bus stop, that kind of got me for a second. Um, but yeah, it uh, definitely seems like a good one for this season. So I'm definitely going to continue watching it and see where it goes. But uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.